Hey folks, we have another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. Today we're going to uh, go over our ozone recirculation system. Um, we'll get into more details uh, in a bit here, but basically you have your ozone generator, the air dryer going into the generator, you have your contact tank, you have your J-brake for vacuum in case you lose vacuum, Basically, your contact tank here, we have a three-quarter horsepower pump that recirculates through the tank, through the injector. We also have a bypass here, a couple of uh, flow meters so you can uh, monitor your flow. And then in addition, we have a, a larger horse and a half pump. This would be your well pump or um, you know, if you were coming out of a, a, a recirculated tank, a storage tank. Uh, we do also go into a storage tank. So, Basically, the overall system on this is it circulates here through your contact tank, and then it also has the ability to circulate into your storage tank. So this is where you, most of your effusion of the ozone into your water is, and then it can go on to a storage. You would run this uh, normally uh, probably off of a timer, uh, set it up, and there again, it would depend on the size of your system. So we're going to start with the fittings in the bottom of the tank. First of all, these uh, larger tanks, uh, this is a 1665 tank, so you have a 4 inch opening. So there's an adapter fitting that you're going to use both on the top and the bottom. These do not need thread tape or any kind of um, thread sealant. Uh, there's an o-ring right here that fits up against it. So you're going to want to just put a little bit of lube on this o-ring and put this adapter up in there. Again. Uh, Go ahead and tighten it, get your o-ring to seat, tighten it up, but you don't want to over tighten it. This is plastic, the tank's plastic, and you can crack it. So you want to just make sure you compress that o-ring well. Once you have your adapter in, then you're going to install your 2-inch fitting. Uh, we have two different types. You might get either one. They both have an o-ring again. Uh, here you don't use any thread tape or any kind of lube, uh, sealant on here. Just lube the o-ring, thr thread it up in there. Uh, so this version here is basically just got a one inch threaded MPT port in and out. Um, notice there's an O-ring on the inside and here. Uh, these, for these ports here you would use thread tape and uh, thread um, sealant. Uh, and something else you want to notice uh, for these plumbed in, you are actually going, your inlet is actually going to go in your outlet because what you want to do is infuse this uh, ozone up through the center hole, okay? The other type we have, again, here would be an O-ring that would fit in here. Uh, this guy would thread up into your adapter. And then for this interface, instead of the pipe fittings, you would get these little threaded fittings here. So what you would do for these is go ahead, put your nut over here, and it has a little clip that holds, that kind of captures the nut into place that's going to go in this back groove here. So you kind of slip that over. And as you can see now, it fits down in that bottom groove. It snaps in, keeps the cap on. Then you have your O-ring, lube that up. That goes in the top groove, okay, like that. Again, no thread tape or uh, thread sealant is required for this. This guy will then slide in here. The O-ring is your seal. And you just hand tighten this up. And uh, you can rotate these for your inlet outlet any way you want to go. So then into the, once you have this all prepped and your fittings on, there's an O-ring inside here. This is where your tube's going to go again. Look at this, you're going to actually plumb your inlet to the tank to the outlet of this because you want the ozone water after it goes through the injector to come up through this center tube. And depending on the size of your unit, this is the type of tube you would have. It's, it's basically PVC with holes in it um, and it fits down into the fitting like this. So you're going to install this guy, lube that O-ring again. Uh, again, you don't need to use any kind of lube on it or you need lube just not kind of any kind of tape or anything and then you're going to install this up into the bottom of the tank and again tighten it up against this o-ring 
Okay, and we just have again one more close-up shot of our setup here in the lab. Your inlet here going into the fitting and your outlet coming out. Okay, so for the top of the tank, again, you have your four inch to two and a half inch adapter, your two and a half inch uh, fitting insert. Here we've got two units installed. This is a vacuum brake. So as you're drawing water out of the tank, this allows air to go back into it so you won't implode your tank. And then as you uh, are pressurizing or circulating the tank with the uh, ozone, uh, you're gonna build up pressure. So this is a ozone relief valve and basically what you want to do is have this vented either to an ozone destruct setup or vented outside. Uh, make sure you don't have this just inside. Here in the set shop we have it vented outside. So basically any excess ozone that's in the water gets uh, uh, relieved there. Um, again, you're fitting your adapter ring has the O-ring. Thread that in. Uh, just lube on the O-ring. No thread tape required. You're then going to install your adapter fitting into this. Again, no uh, thread tape required. Uh, it's just like the bottom one. Go ahead and thread that in there. Again, get it snug, get it tightened up there, but don't use a lot of force. Don't use a large wrench or anything on it. Just get those O-rings to seat. These fittings are all MPT, uh, so they'll all use thread tape and um, thread lube uh, for uh, the installation of all the rest of these fittings. And the vent line is just uh, 5 8 uh, clear Tygon tubing with a barbed fitting. Uh, you can just vent, vent out uh, outside of the house with that. Okay, so then for our pump interface, uh, basically the inlet of our water is coming in here to the tank. We're going into the pump. Your pump inlet is here. You're coming out of the pump and you're coming back up uh, to your supply. Okay, so here we have our injector. This is a, this is a 684 injector um, and a check valve on here. And basically what this does is we have a bypass loop in here that when both of these valves are opened, you're basically going to be flowing water up from the outlet of your pump through your injector, which is pulling a vacuum. So as you create the ozone, this draws the ozone out of the generator into the water, which comes back down back into your tank. So you're basically pumping water up, pulling in the ozone here, coming back into your recirculating tank. In addition, you can have your supply going in and be recirculating a portion of your flow into your uh, regular storage tank as well. So you're creating ozone in your uh, contact tank and it'll also recirculate into the, with, with the, this pump here, we're doing that. And then you can also have a pump going into your storage tank. So we do sell several different uh, style um, ozone generators here. This particular one is a five gram per hour unit. Um, and for these configurations, uh, the ozone generators, the ozone pump is actually bypassed. So what all we're doing is creating the ozone and that Venturi that we showed you over there, that's pulling a vacuum. So the, the Venturi is pulling a vacuum uh, and this is just supplying the ozone. Uh, you have air dryers here. You have your two stage air, air dryer. Uh, make sure you get your flow uh, on the second dryer in the correct orientation. Another uh, hint when you're setting these up, this uh, Tygon tubing works a lot easier putting on the barb fittings if you either uh, kind of soak it in a, a little bit of hot water, soften it up, or use a hair dryer uh, for that. On the very end here for our air draw, we have an airflow meter um, which will show you the vacuum the Venturi is pulling once the system is up and running. Okay, we also have the J brake. So basically, this is your line that comes in. This is where your ozone is going out. If your check valve were to fail, the water would come back in and we we're trying to protect the ozone generator with this J brake. So basically what this is, is this is your ozone coming out of the unit in. This is the ozone going out to the injector into your water. And this basically is a J trap, if you will, with a flapper. So what you want to do is remove this cap and fill this with water up until it drains out of this port. 
basically what will happen is then if this check valve were to fail, first thing you would see is you would start to see some water in here. Um, so that would indicate that you are starting to have a leak. So you'd want to replace that check valve right away. Um, but in the safe mode, if this thing came all the way up, basically when it, it reaches this level, it'll vent out here and it'll protect water from coming back up in and destroying your ozone generator. Okay, so uh, we have our bypass closed here. Uh, the nice thing to, with the bypass is you can still have water flowing through your system uh, if you ever have to repair your check valve or anything here. So we, we recommend putting a bypass loop in here. Um, okay, so our bypass loop is closed. We have our inlet and outlet of our Venturi open. So basically, this the flow meter here supplies the Venturi. This flow meter here on the left-hand side supplies your recirculation tank. So we're going to go ahead and kick our pump on. And as you can see, we're running about 12 gallons per minute here. So this water's coming up, flowing through. You can hear the venturi. And you can hear that pulling of vacuum. So basically right now, we're flowing 12 gallons a minute through our recirculated system. And we're flowing about uh, three gallons a minute into our storage tank. So we're flowing, as you can see here, we're pulling a vacuum, we're somewhere between 8 and uh, 10 standard cubic feet per hour. So we're pulling a vacuum through here, as you can see, through our dryers, through the ozone in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on the uh, ozone generator. And again, we're not using the air pump, we're just using the uh, generator in this mode. And you can hear that fire up. And so now we're creating ozone. Uh, it's going through the outlet into your, um, through your injector into the stream. Okay, again, kind of an overall uh, shot. We're circulating water through our injector into the pump up through the tank, through that diffusion tube coming back out of the tank, coming back up and recirculating through here, through this loop. We're also feeding our storage tank slightly with this. Again, depending on the size, your flow restrictions and whatnot, um, you, you know, we'll, you, you may have a different setup. So right now we're creating ozone. It's pulling it through here through the check valve in your venturi. So we are actually, this tank is full and we're just circulating ozone into it and, and building up the ozone into the water. So we've been running for about five minutes now. We've got a hose bin here at the outlet of the tank. I'm going to go ahead and take a sample of water out of here, and we're going to test it uh, with our analyzer and see what kind of ozone we have. So here's our sample. Try to get it into focus here. As you can see, this water is pretty well oxygenated. It's it's got a cloudy, a lot of bubbles in it. So let's go test it. We're going to go ahead and test our water now. Um, here's our ozone test kit. We sell these. So per the instructions, you basically have two test tubes. You're going to fill both of them up to the first line here. And the first one we'll put into this slot. And the second one we'll put in. And we have our chlorine reagent here, the little packets. Get this into focus. We're going to go ahead and put this in. And then we're going to go ahead and do mix it up here a little bit and wait a minute. And as you can see, see the pink tinge in that water? So we definitely have uh, some ozone mixed into that water there.
So we have both of our samples in here now and basically what you do is you line the two colors up until they match. As you can see that's darker and there's a little wheel you spin on here. So I'm going to go up to where it's matching and I'm going to say they look about the same there. So it looks like we're about 0.9 milligrams per liter. And try to see if I can get up close. Yep, that's about 0.9. So uh, definitely have ozone in the water. Um, anyway, that's uh, all we have for you today. Uh, hope this uh, helps you, and uh, have a great day.